Hello everyone, this is The Silencer, and today is October 15th, 2022. Let's get started with our intel updates. In the last three days, poor Russian forces have made tactical advances towards the center of the town of Bakhmut in Donetsk Oblast. Elements of the Second Corps, the pro-Russian militia in the Luhansk region, likely advanced it into the villages of Apentin and Ivangrad to the south of the town. There have been few, if any other, settlements seized by regular Russian or separatist forces since early July. However, forces led by private military company Wagner Group have achieved some localized gains in the Donbass. Wagner likely remains heavily involved in the Bakhmut fighting. Russia likely views seizing Bakhmut as preliminary into advancing in the Kremitorsk Slovyansk urban area, which is the most significant population center of Donetsk Oblast held by Ukraine. Russia continues to prosecute offensive operations in central Donbass and is very slowly making progress. However, its overall operational design is undermined by the Ukrainian pressure against its northern and southern flanks and by severe shortages of munitions and manpower. Okay, let's get started with today's videos. These are really good today, so I hope you enjoy them. These Ukrainians are rolling up to a recently liberated area. There's still Russian signs hanging, as you'll see. Now these Ukrainians are kind of hanging back while their armor does a number on Russian positions. Pretty cool visuals and sounds, so I think you'll enjoy this one. Big hit there. You could see the smoke in the distance. That was a Russian uh, tank that got hit. Fascinating video. This is a Russian conscript. He's going to take you through his uh, conscript little village there. Location unknown. And kind of show you what his day-to-day -day life looks like. It's pretty pathetic. Notice how he said no tactics. I think that's been kind of obvious. When he says snatch, he means steal. The Russians use that word for stealing. I, it's just the way they talk. Okay, 
поможем. Сразу слышно, что был у меня голос. Голос капец какой осипший. Половина попростывала пацанов. Я тебе сейчас фотки еще скину. Какие, на каких матрасах нас заставляли жить. Пока сами тоже, так сказать, не украли. Потому что по-другому здесь прожить нельзя. Отойдешь просто от палатки, у тебя даже буржуйки украдут. А не то, что вещи. У меня вот, допустим, ни кроссовок теперь нету, ни денег нету. И как мне сказал этот ваш... The day in a life of a conscript. These Ukrainians on patrol come under fire from the Russians. Today's video is sponsored by UASupporter.com. Show your support for Ukraine by repping some gear. They have clothing, tech stuff, bags, hats, mugs, flags, and more. My personal favorite is the Greed Trident t-shirt Zelensky wears. Use my links in the description at the end and get 10% off with free shipping on your order from UASupporter.com. All right, Ukrainian Foreign Legion. Many Americans, many Westerners in this unit. They're doing some sort of a uh, tactical raid right now. You'll see them here in a moment. They're going to breach uh, one of these buildings through the side window. Very smart. It shows their training. You never breach any kind of building or home through the front door. Usually booby trapped. There's that side window I was talking about. Sorry again, guys, I had to uh, mute this because of copyrighted music, YouTube rules. Alright, this is going to be the Ukrainian Kraken unit. The Kraken unit is a special operations unit, and it's one of Ukraine's best. There's another one of those Russian signs. Newly liberated town. Russian BMP.
That's a Russian tiger that they've uh, commandeered. Discarded Russian gear. All right, next we're going to have an intercepted uh, phone call from a Russian soldier to his buddy. So I'll let you guys listen to this. Russian state TV in their own words. Сейчас запущен процесс расширения э, производства вооружений. Uh -huh. 
На это понадобится до полутора лет. И если мы протянем в Украину просто-напросто, э, хлынет вооружение огромным потоком. Э, и если там не будет хватать людских резервов на Украине, не поможет. Значит, эти людские резервы будут добываться, добываться тоже же самой Польше, то же самое Словакии. А у нас Болтали. есть ресурсы сейчас да. для того, чтобы быстро все это закончить? У нас достаточно ресурсов, чтобы быстро это закончить. That's a lie. У нас есть арсенал. У нас, кстати, забитые склады с э, боеприпасами, э, точнее, авиационными бомбами, транспортными. Просто забитые эти склады. Только нужно, нужна политическая воля на их применение. Чем более эффективной будет наша стратегия и наши действия. Pretty neat POV of Ukrainian tankers. Hope you guys like that one. Now next, a Russian politician in his own words. I'm not really sure what to say about all that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. But thanks for watching tonight. Like and follow if you have time. And remember to get some of that awesome Ukrainian merch. Or if you want to donate to the channel costs, hit the super thanks or buy me a coffee in the description. I appreciate you all. The silencer is now silent.